Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel where today I am going to be giving you guys a first impression of this e.l.f. acne fighting foundation. This is in the shade Buff. I ordered it online so I'm hoping that it matches my skin. So a little bit about this product. It says that this lightweight foundation helps disguise redness, blemishes and uneven skin tone. I feel I suffer with a lot of them. I wouldn't say that I have acne prone skin or anything like that but I do suffer with quite regular breakouts especially at the moment I'm getting them all underneath my chin and I do use my Clarisonic. This product is infused with acne fighting key ingredients such as salicylic acid, witch hazel, camphor, tea tree and soothing aloe. I love witch hazel. I'm wondering what it's going to smell like as well. And uh, the uses for this they say are for the treatment of acne, helps prevent new acne blemishes. So this could be a good product for me. They say before applying this to cleanse the skin thoroughly before applying medication. Now they say medication on here so that is a bit strange. I'm guessing maybe because it is for acne purposes. Um, so I've already washed my face, I've used my Clarisonic this morning and I've put some moisturiser on. They say to cover the infected area with a thin layer one to three times a day. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be applying this once. I don't really want to be applying it throughout the day. Maybe it could be used as like for the sections where you do have your blemishes, you can keep applying it on, I don't know. They say on here though, because excessive drying of the skin may occur, start with one application daily, then gradually increase to two to three times daily if needed or as directed by doctor. Now, I didn't have to get a prescription for this. You can just order this online. I've seen some good reviews about it, but obviously every skin type is different. I am a sufferer of oily skin, so I'm hoping that this might be able to kind of control the oils. We will find out. Okay, so packaging slightly tacky. <laughs> That's my opinion. Um, you can see here the bottle, it looks, looks a bit tacky, doesn't it? But it would be quite easy to pack this up and pop it away in your bag if you're traveling or anything like that. Let's give this a go. I'm gonna push my hair back because I know many people really don't like it when um, YouTubers don't put their hair back and it's all in their face, so I will do that. Now I'm going to prime one side of my face just to test out to see how it goes throughout the day. I'm going to be using Makeup Revolution Ultra All Day Prime and Anti Shine Balm. I've used this a couple of times and I found that it's worked quite well. So it comes in a pot like this. I'm going to apply this on this side of the face. And then the other side of my face I'm not going to be popping any primer at all. I'm going to use my Real Techniques complexion sponge I think it's called and it's dampened it's quite a thick consistency but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start off on this side and pop pop it mainly towards this bit and then I'm gonna blend it out it smells medical if that makes sense I can smell the witch hazel if you're not a fan of foundations that have a strong smell to them then you probably won't like this straight away but those kind of things don't really bother me at all blends out quite nicely first impression of that it blends out quite nicely they say that it's a lightweight foundation so I'm wondering if you can build it up it goes onto the skin quite nice it feels a bit sticky straight away I'm gonna pop a little bit more on because I don't feel coverage wise that's quite enough for me with this sponge I like to sweep and glide it across the skin and then afterwards dab over and I would say because it's for acne to try and avoid your eye area as much as possible that's gone onto my skin really nice go over to the other side of the face got a big friend right there so remember this side has got primer on the right hand side has not Colour match wise, I'm happy with this shade. For a lightweight foundation, I find that that has evened out my skin tone slightly. You can still see my blemishes. To cover ones that I've got at the moment is really difficult. It would just end up looking quite cakey. But for putting it on first, it feels really nice and light on the skin. And I can't smell the product anymore. So if that is something that bothers you, I can reassure you that that will not bother you. Now I'm gonna try and build this side up again because I did two coats on this side. That is the foundation applied. So I'm hoping you can see all right. Um, it does feel very light on the skin. It's dried quite nicely though. It, it feels very soft on the skin. It doesn't smell too much either, which is a good thing. I'm going to pop on the rest of my makeup and check back in with you. So guys, I've put on the rest of my makeup and I did use this Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder and Transparent. I did use that all over my face just to remind you guys and to remind myself that I did put primer on this side 
and this side I did not put primer on. I'm going to see how this foundation goes. So far though, it might not be a full coverage, but it is extremely light on the skin and I'm liking how it looks. It is nearly two o'clock. So I did put this on about 20 minutes ago, so it's already been on for 20 minutes. I'm gonna try and keep it on as long as possible. I've got some stuff to do. Um, I've got some tidying up to do and out and about later so I will come back and check in with you guys of what it looks like in a few hours time so I'll see you soon hi guys so the time is eight minutes past five and I'm checking in to let you guys know what's going on with this foundation and as we can see I am looking so greasy shiny I'm looking at the camera because I'm trying to explain to you guys but I don't think I need to explain anything you can totally see this side had primer this side did not have primer I'm recording on my iPhone at the moment because my camera ran out of battery over there but you can see how shiny this is and this for me is like far too shiny even after three hours this is looking like I've been dancing all night. I'm not very impressed to be honest. I actually wanna take it off and apply some foundation that I normally use. I really can't go out like this. Um, what I can do is I could try blotting it a little bit now to see if that helps, because I do sometimes have to blot the makeup off of my face. Let's see how much oil or grease comes off of my face. Look at that, just that little bit. Let's do it here, I've got a feeling you're really gonna be able to see it coming off onto this blotting paper. I mean, that is crazy. Look how much is coming off that, that's disgusting. <laughs> now I know with foundation reviews, you normally just leave it for a few hours, but in all honesty, I'm not impressed with this foundation. It's all right if you need a quick fix. Um, I didn't use any oil fixing spray that I like to use normally on it, but the fact that I feel like my face is melting and I applied some stay matte powder. But for me, I'm not liking it so far. So guys, it is just after 12 o'clock at night and this is how the foundation looks after around 10 hours. I'm not completely over impressed with it. It's gone really greasy. I've had to blot two or three times today and it just feels like it's slipping off of my skin. You can probably see how greasy and shiny and how much it's kind of broken up and I'm really not impressed with it. It might be cheap. It might be easy for everyone to get their hands on, but I would say you would think for an acne kind of foundation that it would be more drying to the skin and I feel like my skin's done completely opposite. I feel like it's just completely made it go so shiny. I mean, I can see how much shine is coming off of this right now. It's actually quite disgusting. I just want to wash my face. And that is my review. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've tried this product and it's worked for you, please let me know. And if you haven't already, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.